Welcome to Crazy Nuns, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT, and I'm IT Explosive One. Start the timer. Bing. 10 minutes or TNT. less. TNT, is there anything that you can think of that you don't do because it's not socially acceptable, but like if it was socially acceptable, you absolutely would like do it? I would steal everything that is not nailed down. <laughs> <laughs> you, would just, you would just be walking around carrying like flower pot chair off their porch, just <laughs> wandering around. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> what? I love it, dude. I just wasn't thinking that. I, I, I don't. Want I, it, I, I mean, I didn't necessarily wasn't thinking like legalities wise, but like, I mean, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm not a thief at all, and I would I would never steal from like you know like family or friends or anything. Um, but you know, you know, everybody's taking a stapler from the job. Yeah, or some stella. I need some sticky notes. There's plenty of sticky notes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, I feel, (laughs) it's so crazy because I feel like that's where people get the majority of their, uh, of their uh, crime syndicate office when it comes to at work and still in pants. Yeah, and yeah. Oh, no, no. That's for sure. Because, yeah, it's been like, oh, man, I got, like, at work, they're like, here's some duster to blow out your keyboard. I'm like, oh, man, no. I ain't blowing my duster out, my keyboard out at home in forever. Let me take that duster yeah, home. That's coming with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or like, yeah, that kind of, yeah, man. I guess we're all, like, we're all work thieves. Yeah, so I guess that would be the one thing I would do. I mean. You know what we also steal from work? Time. Oh yeah! Oh, dude, time theft. It's my, my favorite. favorite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely, dude. How many people get paid to poop constantly? Whew, this guy, I take poops all the time. I have. I used to be like, man, why would I poop at home when I can get poop at work and get paid for it? What, what, what's the thing? Uh, the boss gets a dollar, I get a dime. That's why I shit on company time. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Smoke breaks. Yo, oh, dude, oh, don't even get me started. Breaks. Yeah, smokers got it. You guys got it easy. Nobody's smoking anymore, but those people who do, who get smoke breaks, that's crazy. Yeah, you know, it's interesting that, like, but yeah, but you know, I've, I've had a lot of uh, jobs when people smoked, or even when I smoked back in the day, um, and I would go out. Like, there was the people who were non smokers who they'd come out with the smokers. Like, if somebody would go out yeah. to smoke, they'd be like, hey, I'm going with y'all. They're yeah. like, but you don't smoke? They're like, sure. What was the company that uh, said that they would give you like a week off if you didn't smoke to compensate for the smoke break? The oh, smokers, I don't know, but I would work there. Yeah, there was a company they gave you, I think it was a week or it might have been like a certain amount of days. Like they they uh, compiled all the time that a smoker takes outside and they compiled it and they were like, okay, it equals this amount of time in a year. So we give our other employees who don't smoke that amount of time in a year. How, but how do they know who smokes and who don't? I mean, I my job gives me three hundred and sixty dollars a year to not smoke. Really? My uh, my insurance is fifteen dollars cheaper every two weeks uh, oh, if you're a non-smoker. I mean, still it saves me three hundred sixty dollars a year. I mean, yeah, but your insurance rates are going to be that if, if you, even if you didn't go to with your job. What? If you were to oh. give private insurance, it's going to be cheaper because you don't smoke. Yeah, but the base rate is X, and if you don't smoke, they take it away. I mean, the base rate for. <laughs> any you know, any what do you call it insurance plan is going to be x and then if you don't smoke they're going to be like okay it's less i don't know if it's going to be 300 i don't know what the direct number is but yeah, yeah. if you don't if you don't swim with sharks for a living guess what your insurance is going to be that's cheaper. true that's true and they also yeah i found out too they, they'll pay repay up to like 300 dollars a year for gym memberships if you can prove that you went to the gym yeah, and i was yeah. like damn all right i'll wait till december get all my log and be like hey give me that money except for i think i paid all those ridiculous fees at plant fitness before the beginning of the year so like i won't i won't get all that money back but i'm gonna try fitness man who that is that is the biggest hustle on the planet man these people have a monopoly on cheap gym cheap with quotation oh they do absolutely and and they are just taking everybody to town yeah 15 dollars a month yeah is that but for to be honest dude the with the amount of equipment and how nice the equipment is 15 bucks a month ain't bad and they used I mean, to be twenty four seven. Now they're twenty four five and twelve hours on the weekend. Whatever BS they pulled during COVID. Are they? St- <laughs> We're just talking about the gym now, yeah, sure or whatever. Yeah, uh, yeah we st- <laughs> well, I don't even know what we started with. This is how short our attention span is. It's been four minutes and forty three seconds, and the first thing we talked about was stealing, and now we're talking about a gym. Oh, dude, I would steal gym equipment. <laughs> 
<laughs> Man, you know those high school kids in the gym ain't paying attention. Just walk out with a dumbbell. <laughs> Every day, walk out with a difference. <laughs> walk out with the dumbbell. Every day, start with the five, then no, the ten. Because they got cameras and stuff, man. They got cameras and stuff. That's true. They all they watching us lift weights. They watching me sweat, yo. Have you? So you you you're the guy who's never stolen from a store. You told me that you've never. Stolen I stole from gum from a store when I was a kid. My grandma yeah, lectured yeah, yeah, me, yeah, and yeah. I think. And I'm trying to remember, there was the Spencer gifts in the mall that everyone used to steal from, but we knew people that worked there. So, like, they kind of just let everybody steal. And I, I feel like I took something from there sometime because everybody was in there just taking stuff. And I was like, oh, I'll grab something, too. Have you ever had anybody steal something for you? Have you ever had that guy who comes up and he's like, yeah, I'll steal that for you? What you, you need. Yeah, that no, guy. but I've had uh, people that live with me steal from me. So that's, I mean, is that, does that count? I mean, yes. <laughs> what do you mean? Does that no, count? not steal for me, steal from me. Oh, still from you. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we all no. had the hamburger experience. Yeah, well, yeah. So, I mean, we... but no, uh, no. If you, if, yeah, dude, my dad 100%. bought a, a CD player from a guy in the street with CDs in it. Still, I mean, back in the day, that's like a crackhead. Of... Like, like, hey, I got these stereos, and they have like a Savage Garden CD yeah. <laughs> inside it. Savage. I mean, stole from a kid, uh, probably. That's still offense, man. Regardless of how you look, receiving at it. stolen property. Yeah, yeah, it's still offense. I definitely have uh, paid somebody to steal for me before. I've even paid somebody what. So I have, you've indirectly stolen. I mean, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. What? I don't. I don't. I'm not saying it's that stealing is wrong, kids, and taking stolen property is wrong, hundred percent. But if you can get it for the low, you get it yeah. for the low. Well, but honestly, you know, but like you, like I think you've told me, like you've also like been at the barber shop and someone's like, hey, oh yeah, that's I got the best. got a car full of whatever. That's you, the best. Yeah. If, if you out there, you got to get yourself to a nice hood barber shop. The hood or the better. <laughs> The hooder, the better. The more hood, the better. Someone murdered in the street right in front of it. <laughs> That's the best one you can you know, find. The barbershop I used to go to in PA, every single barber in there had done time in prison. Oh, shit. Not jail. They're all felony prison. prison. They're all prison. They all got their barber degrees from a prison. Or, oh, wow. Yeah, they, so. they called it the pen. <laughs> it was it called D-Block. <laughs> oh, oh, it really was called, it was oh, called D-Block. Wow. A lot like, of them had done time show, show us you done time. Well, that, that's actually really good because a lot of times yeah. it's hard for felons to get work so they probably hire ex-cons yeah. because they can't get jobs anywhere else so it's like yeah. you come here we'll hire you as a barber yeah, yeah. Did, did stuff ever pop off in there uh <laughs> no i wouldn't say anything popped off but i've definitely walked out with like coats and boots and you know <laughs> they're like hey yeah yo, t-bones in the back <laughs> go yeah. see t-bone <laughs> yeah, we got these cd players you know okay i'll take one <laughs> How much is that? Ten dollars? Well, hell yeah. He's like, well, I'll take two then. I don't even got two slots in my car. Yeah. Yeah. That's dude. the thing, man. They give you the best prices, man. Frick the mark now. They're trying prices. to move it, dude. That's yeah. why. Yeah. Move the a place like We got to trunk move. full of cigarettes. Eight bucks a carton. Hey, let's go. Well, that'd be like, well, that, to be completely honest, if I found a bag of crack on the ground. <laughs> okay. Like, I don't know where this is or going. a bag of weed, a big giant bag of weed or coke or I whatever. I, don't know where I this wouldn't is try going. to get fair market value. I would try to get rid of it as quick as possible Wait. for the quick quickest amount of money as I could get rid of it. You're you know what I mean? Me if you found a bag of crack, you're going to start selling crack. <laughs> no, I'm going <laughs> to sell someone the entire bag of crack for as as much as I can get for it in the quickest what? amount of time. <laughs> So you're gonna start selling crack? <laughs> now get out of here! I try to put words. I'm not in. making. I'm not making. This I'm not gonna become a crack dealer. I mean, what I mean you is you make one crack deal. Well, so if you sell, if you steal a bunch of car stereos, you become a car stereo salesman. That's essentially what you're saying. You're a boot guy. You're a boot salesman because you got some knockoff boots in your trunk. No, <laughs> I'm so, saying is that if you start, if you sell a pair of shoes, you're a shoe salesman. <laughs> Right, but if what if that dude found all that stuff in a, somebody's bedroom and he's selling it, he's not a boot salesman. He's just an entrepreneur. If I found a, <laughs> so you're not. You tell that I, one to the police. Yeah, I'm you just, tell that to the sting found, operation. Well, okay. So you find a bag of rocks on the road. You turn it into the cops. You get no money. You turn it into the cops. Okay, that is fair. You get right. no money. Or you you like you go to somebody and you're like, yo. I found this. Who is this somebody? I don't know, dude. I feel Who like do you know? Are you Walter White? <laughs> Shh. Are you Walter? Jonas White, dude. Shh. Jonas White. We don't talk about my last name on the podcast. <laughs> no, it's no. I hundred percent understand what you're saying, though. If you find, like, 
Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you find a bunch of stuff and you don't want to have it, you get rid of it as quick as you can yeah. for Take, what you can. Taking it to the cops might be one of the worst ideas because they're going to be like, uh, no, but I feel they're like, going to start asking you questions. But I feel like if you if you bring a giant bag of crack to the cops, you're going to be all right. They're not like, why would someone who's dealing crack bring crack to the cops? Yeah, but still, I don't want to. But they are going to ask you where you found yeah. it because they want to go investigate, if, especially if it's like a Ziploc bag full of crack. You know what I mean? They're going to be like, that's a large amount of crack. Where did you find yeah. this? Yeah. A large amount of crack. Anyways, <laughs> that's all the time we have for today's episode. What the hell? <laughs> Please make sure to like and subscribe. Become? at The crazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.